The number of samples of force data recorded per second, or sampling frequency, is also an important consideration when recording force data. Sampling frequency is usually set in the acquisition software. In order to investigate the effect of sampling frequency on impact force, a shot was dropped onto a force platform from a height of 0.5 meters with a sampling frequency of 5,000 samples per second, or hertz, 2,000 hertz, 500 hertz, and 100 hertz. With a sampling frequency of 5,000 hertz, the force of impact can clearly be seen during the initial landing and two of the subsequent rebounds. Peak force from these impacts are 8,200 newtons, 4,376 newtons, and 2,650 newtons. Using a sampling frequency of 2,000 hertz, the impact forces can again be seen and the peaks are similar to those recorded using a sampling frequency of 5,000 hertz. With the sampling frequency reduced to 500 hertz, not enough samples are recorded to represent the true force time profile of the impacts that were shown when the force was recorded at 5000 or 2000 Hz. Thus, using 500 Hz, it is impossible to accurately identify the magnitude of the peak impact force. At this sampling frequency, the impact forces are 6256 Newtons, 4200 Newtons, and 2227 Newtons for consecutive rebounds. With the sampling frequency further reduced to 100 Hz, the resulting force time data bears no resemblance to the true force time profile, with only one value at most being recorded for each rebound. Thus, for activities such as short duration impacts as described here, where the force data includes high frequency components, a high sampling frequency should be used. This table compares the peak forces for the three impacts at each of the four sampling frequencies. At sampling frequencies of 5000 Hz and 2000 Hz, peak forces for each impact are similar, which indicates that both of these frequencies are adequate for recording this activity. However, at 500 Hz, the magnitude of the peaks are generally lower than when recorded at 2000 Hz or 5000 Hz. Thus, at 500 Hz, not enough samples are recorded to adequately reflect the true force time profile of the impact. Therefore, it would be inappropriate to use this sampling frequency for this activity. At 100 Hz, the problem of not having enough samples to adequately reflect the true force time signal becomes even worse. This table shows activities that force data are typically recorded from in sport and exercise, together with typical sampling frequency ranges. Activities such as balancing that have a low frequency content require a lower sampling frequency than higher frequency activities such as impacts. In summary, force time data recorded from different skills or activities will have different frequency components. The choice of sampling frequency needs to reflect this. If too low a sampling frequency is chosen, important data that exists in the force time profile could be lost. If you are unsure of the frequency content of the activity being recorded, then it is better to sample at a high frequency. However, sampling at unnecessarily high frequencies results in redundant data, which can increase data processing and analysis time.